Yo, what's up guys? I'm here in a abandoned holiday home, apparently this is. It's called Elm Cottage, which is based in Shropshire. Um, I don't know entirely a lot about the property. It used to be a holiday home. There has been reports from at least 2016, probably 2014, I think, if I recall correctly. There's a paper in here, or a news, um, like a leaflet dating back to 2012. I'll show you guys that, and I'll uh, take you guys on a little explore. See you in a sec. So guys, we're just sat in the living room. As you can see, look at the lovely old beam work as well. Check out how the explores. Yeah, so you've got a lovely old little couch in the corner. It's a bit of a strange one, it looks like, yeah, these have been knocked down. It's a bit of a weird couch. And you've got the start your electricity, I'll show you that as well. We um we just turn it on, we'll turn it off before we leave. Um that's standard. Got a lovely little armchair here. Little uh, fireplace space. Um don't know exactly what they're called, I'll show you guys or not. Just point in front of the fireplace like a fire blocker. And you've got a lovely little cushion on a bench. It's weird having a, a wooden bench indoors. Like, I, I can get wooden chairs like the one over there, um, but a bench, I don't know, there's no cushions on it but it might have been rubbed. It looks like it's been a little bit ransacked, um, I did see a report on this one, very recent and it looks better than this to be fair, so I don't know if there's a lot of people come to the place recently or what, but let's turn the light on for you, yeah. make it a little bit brighter, right, actually yeah I'll show you the electric. See the sensor in the corner is a little there, uh, the security alarm, but it um, must be deactivated. So yeah guys, this was the yeah, it's a newsletter um, dated May 2012. So not what, eight years ago? Not far off eight years ago. A little bit less. And you got a Daily Express paper here. 1993. Yeah, I was born actually. Not the month though. But you've got uh, a little armchair there. A little, little wooden latch, that's pretty cool. You've got all your dishes and stuff and still propped up here. Ah, oh, I didn't even notice that, it's the Queen's Silver Jubilee plate. You've got some polish. And the kitchen, I probably like the kitchen the best to be fair. That's could be uh, worth a little bit of bob that's with the coronavirus at the minute. You've got some plates and forks just out. Outside, you'll pick this. I believe there's some stonework here somewhere, so I'll look at that if I can. The kettle's been sitting here for years. Stuff here as well, along with got some herbs and spices and stuff up there. There's a lot of cobwebs around it. And then what else is there? Ah, loose tea, as well. I've not seen them before. Like you'd put it in your Got some plates. Mm. Oh no, not plates. Sorry, you got um, little mats, plate mats. Going in, got a couple of little pans, some strainer. Side. Oh, that's 
Siegel. Don't know. I'm not seeing them. One of them before as well. So we've got our fridge there, isn't it? In it. So I'll take you guys through. So this is the. Um, it's like I assume it would have been like the dining area by the looks of it. Not side piece. Got a Hartley Explore. <laughs> Right guys, let's take you upstairs. Let me show you the living room again. I don't know what this is. I don't know if any of you guys will know. This little thing. I thought it was like a, a little toaster or something. Like, you know, to for toasties and that. But I have a feeling it might be something. Ah, oh, no, no, no. So like a floor polisher I think looks like a floor polisher to me I didn't see the uh, bristles on the bottom of it and you've got little bottles up here and stuff like neat little things really and lovely wooden staircase So I'll take you guys upstairs. Got a uh, couple of beds up here as well. And we're instantly greeted with a chair and some shoes. Just a little video out the countryside window. A little pot of pottery bits here as well. So like nice little neat things. A couple of I don't know if it shows up on camera. Church is put through. And then we've got a little this is like the smaller bedroom. Maybe a portable like a fold out bed. Got a little old sewing machine. Some dark and powder in your mind. Now, let's see, we've got one more bedroom as well, and then we've got a um, whole bathroom. you got a couple of beds in here. For some reason it's free, so it's, yeah, holiday home I suppose, maybe for a family. Lovely big window. Oh, that's all. 1992. 1992 town and country, summer slash autumn, town and country houses in the Midlands. Look at the size on them. But yeah, you got another little bed in here. And an old chest of drawers as well. Still some uh, flash on fragrance there. Uh. But yeah, guys, that's. Oh yeah, I'll show you the little wooden latches and stuff. Cool. And then I'll just take you briefly in the bathroom just to complete it as a full property. You've got some lovely tile work in here. Shower's been ripped out. Terrible. A little soap holder. Kind of jar. Have a look underneath, actually. Not 
very much. Mm, someone painted the walls. Terrible, horrible people. But yeah guys, this is the bathroom. Uh, I don't know if there's much outside, I believe there's a little bit of stonework. Um, so, yeah guys, that's pretty much it for this one. And I'll, um, I'll catch you guys in the next video. I've got loads of di different things coming up. Um, can't wait to do it all really. So, yeah guys, I'll see you in a bit. Oh yeah. That's pretty much it. Eh? They're all overgrown as well, guys. <laughs>